A parable of the black man and an elephant originated in the ancient Indian subcontinent, from where it has been widely diffused. It is a story of a group of the blind men who have never come across an elephant before, and who learned and imagined what the elephant is like by touching it. Each blind man feels a different part of the elephant's body, but only one part, such as the side or the tusk. Leyland described the elephant based on their limited experience, and their descriptions of the elephant are different from each other. In some versions, they come to suspect that the other person is dishonest, and they come to blows. The moral of the parable is that humans have a tendency to claim absolute truths based on their limited, subjective experience, as they ignore other people's limited, subjective experience, which may be equally true. In the early age of China, two thousand years ago, there are eight people who are all blind, trying to understand what elephant looks like by touching its part. The first elder is an officer who retires and enjoys his leisure time. Another elder works as a carpenter. These two elders are grumpy. They fight against each other because of their different definition of the elephant. An old woman is a cook and takes responsibility for the town celebration. And there is a girl. Next, there is a boy who may have a job of making waterway. Sometimes he cleans the dirt or fixes the brakes. The villagers whose profession are farmers. However, they have two definitions of describing the appear of the elephant. At last. There are four young mothers comparing their impressions, and end up deciding the elephant is an enormous, gentle ox with a stretched nose. The first character may be an officer or someone who don't have to do heavy works. If this person has to do labor, he or she will not have time to shake their leather fan and enjoy their leisure time. Also, this person is an elder, so this person is likely to have more time enjoying their life after retired. I can fully imagine this person taking the shade under the tree and shaking the leather fan. I think the elder works as a carpenter who builds houses and temples. His or her life is going back and forth between home and workplace, living a modest. Life, you could say he is a hard-working person. There must be many building materials, and it includes pillars, columns, shafts in this person's working environment. Those materials are familiar with this person, even though he has never touched a rough, hairy pillar. But at least this person's thought. An old woman who touches the part of elephant's tusk regards it. As a cool, smooth staff, it can tell that the old woman may be a cook who takes responsibility for the monthly town celebration, preparing the offering. She and other women need to pound rice into mochi. Thus, she is familiar with the tool and its shape, so she can come up with a smooth staff. When she first touches the tusk of the elephant, her family might work as textile crafters. Living in this environment, she would definitely have lots of contact with threads, scales, and ropes in her daily life. This experience affected her guess, thus she thought of fringe rope right after she sees the tail. I think this boy is a student, and his father's occupation is constructing water pipes. This boy grew up in an environment where his father often talked about his job, even though he has never touched a water pipe. But he knew what it was like. In general, the trunk is 1.5 to 2 meters long. This boy had no idea how long and big an elephant was. So he only touched a small part of the trunk and imagined it was as long as a water pipe that he knew. The villagers stroking the elephant's sides mentioned that it was like a dry plowed field.
A plow is a farming tool for loosening or turning the soil before sowing seed or planting. Oxen and horses probably drew how these villagers plowed the fields, and plows are usually meant to cut and loosen the dirt, an essential step before planting seeds for the crops. This indicates that these villagers are probably farmers in charge of growing their food supplies. The villagers who touched the elephant's head described it as an overturned washing tube attached to the water pipe. This probably indicates that these villagers are also farmers, usually in charge of irrigation. It could also mean that they are housewives using washing tubes to wash their daily clothing. I think they might be married to peasants and working in farmland to take care of oxen. Ox and elephants have many things in common. For example, they both have a pair of big ears which feel like lithophan, four legs which are like pillars, one tail which feels like a fringed rope, raw skin which feels like dry plowed field, and a head that is like an overturned washing tub. Also, the touch of the tusks of an elephant feel exactly like the horns of an ox. The only difference is that oxen don't have the water pipe attached to their heads, and farmers usually use oxen or horses to plow the field, so they would get in touch with oxen many times in a day. Therefore, I think that's the reason why these four mothers reached the conclusion that this is an ox with a stretched nose.